More than a thousand motorcycle riders took to the streets today for the fifth annual Brian Shaw Memorial Scholarship Ride. It's a ride honoring the 25 year old officer who died in the line of duty. Bryant Reed examines the impact it's making. As another year of the Brian Shaw Memorial Scholarship Ride comes and goes, these riders here today say it's not only about remembering their fallen officer, it's about paying it forward and making sure these first responders have everything they need to protect and serve. As the kickstands go up, bikers shift into gear and round the corner to start the 65 mile Brian Shaw Memorial Scholarship Ride. The man they ride to remember, Brian Shaw, was a 25 year old officer for the Fraser Police Department not long out of the police academy. He was doing a routine traffic stop when he was fatally shot in 2017. Brian Shaw was a very special individual in our community. He paid with his life. We want to keep his memory strong, his memory alive. And how they keep his memory alive continues to grow as 1,200 motorcyclists gathered to contribute to a scholarship fund aimed at helping propel cadets through the Allegheny County Police Academy. So we want that guy who's been struggling, trying to save that money to go through the academy. And the, the academy is $5,000. We give them another $1,000 on top of that <clears throat> to help buy gear so they can start their career. But the contribution is about more than just money. It's about the support and encouragement that comes with it. Right now in the world, there's a defunded police attitude and no, no respect for law enforcement. But the young, young men who are, and women who are coming up in the law enforcement academies, we want to support them. We want them to know they're special. We want to help them financially and uh, just get their careers going strong. Including this year, the Shaw Ride has raised around $250,000 since it started. To date, the scholarship fund has awarded seven people with scholarships to help them make it through the police academy, and the organization says they hope to award several more in years to come. Reporting, I'm Brian Green, KDK News.